Hey guys, so let's look at the job opportunities in 2022. I know we're halfway through, but uh, I've had this article sitting around, so I figured I would get into it here. So the software development shortage in the U.S. and the global tech talent shortage in 2022. The latest U.S. labor statistics brings major concerns about the talent shortage. By the end of 2020, there was 1.4 million unfilled computer science jobs. Meanwhile, the number of graduates is only 400K a year. The U.S. is under the risk of facing an unrealized output of 162 billion if the country's software developer shortage keeps growing at the same pace. Business development and digital transformations are possible, aren't, are impossible rather, without new talent, which intensifies the gap between tech talent and tech supply. So this is from the uh, official federal government. This trend has been going on for years. That's uh, something I've been talking about. The number of new people getting into coding versus the number of new jobs. The new jobs is outpacing the number of new coders by a long shot. That's why you hear stories like Apple raising salaries, everybody raising salaries for several reasons. At the end of the day, finding good developers is very, very difficult for employers, whether it be in Canada, Europe, where, what have you. Uh, that's why they're always trying to bring in the top talent from all over the world into uh, North America. It's a, it's a political issue. So yeah, there's tremendous job opportunities. And I think this is only going to increase. I think this is only going to increase. So let me bring up another article that I think you'll find interesting. It's related to all this, of course. Let me minimize this, bring in this. All right, let's, let's look it up. So here we go. Which skills would you like to acquire higher in 2022? So they asked a bunch of recruiters and they wanted to know uh, what are the skills that are most valuable? So you see, I have been saying for a long time, the web will continue to be the dominant uh, space within the coding world, the dominant specializations. So, although you can't go wrong with just about anything, but if you look down here, I uh, highlighted here, web rules. So you look here, uh, now I clipped this article a while back. I think the yellow line is what the recruiters are looking for. Uh, so you can see, Anyway, you can look at the chart. You can see that of all the different things, blockchain, cybersecurity, AI is close, uh, DevOps, edge compute, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, robotics. You can see web development still dominates by a huge amount right here. Again, this is data, 2022. It's hard to argue with the data. So uh, there you go. As I've been advising people for years now, if you want to get into coding, the web offers the most opportunities, especially if you don't have a degree. Not that you need necessarily need a degree in any, in, in any of the other types of coding, but the web offers a huge range of possibilities, small companies, startups, big companies, whether you wanna work uh, remotely or not, whether you wanna freelance. For freelance, the web is king, the web is king. The other big advantage of the web, of course, is that uh, it allows for people with different ways of thinking to be able to jump into the game. Meaning, if you are a visual person, more artistic oriented, you can do front end web, which is all the user interface stuff and all that kind of stuff. It's more design centric. If you're more of a, uh, a logical thinker, a big picture thinker, then you can get into full stack and architecture. If you want, if you're more of a detailed math type of nerd, then you can get into uh, some of the detailed stuff like database, uh, development and so on. So there's a lot of flexibility in both in terms of the type of coding you do on the web and the amount of jobs, as, as you just saw, huge amount of jobs, huge. So there you go. I hope you found it useful. If you like being mentored by an ancient nerdling from 1994, check out below. I have my full mentoring program. It teaches you the full stack and a whole bunch more. Check it out. Spaces are limited and it's not a sales tactic. There's only so much Uncle Steph out there who can actually mentor people. So far, so good. I can handle the load. But uh, as more and more people fill up, if it gets to be too much work, I'm going to have to shut down enrollment. So you may want to check it out. Talk soon.